I think the standard has been amazing, Jazzy. Uh -huh. I don't envy you the job of picking your favourites to go through to the live gig. <laughs> How many pounds we got? Bloody loads, Jazzy. And this doddery old rattle van is seeing more action than Sting's twister bat. So we're off to uh, Stroud, see a band called the Russian Flying Squirrels. Nice name. Uh, lots of guitars, a bit prog. Is that going to be harder for you to appreciate or engage with? It depends on how deep the music is. When I started off in the old rock and roll business, I worked in professional recording studios, and 90% of our clients were guitar-based bands, so it was something that I was brought up with. With a guitar band, they can be really boring because they're always copying one another. So you're going to be looking for their unique style in terms of their sound. For 35 years, the lead singer of Russian Flying Squirrel, IT director Rudy Carroll, has thought about guitars just a bit too much. Why not, if it can be done, put on your main instrument and then attach another little instrument to it, which can come in useful, because it's possible to do it. It's quite good fun to do it. People like it when I do it. It makes different sounds. I learnt to play guitar when I was 11. My big brother was on top of the pops when I was 11. He was in a band called The Members. That's right. this is the sound of the that was it. That was kind of, OK, uh, guitars, uh, music, travelling around in a, in a van with your mates. That's what I want to do. I conditioned myself into absolutely being obsessed by guitars. Rudy is by far the oldest member of the band. Nah, silly, those are his kids. Seriously, though, he formed Russian Flying Squirrel after meeting a fellow guitarist outside their school. All the guys in the band are very, very family orientated. We care about our families much more than we care about anything else. Balancing it is the hardest thing. Personally, much as I need to do the music, it comes a distant third to family and work, unfortunately. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Hi, Ron. Hiya, nice to meet you. You too, Amanda. How are you doing? Hi, Amanda. So, do you go to all the gigs, Amanda? I've are you a groupie? Never, <laughs> I've never been to a gig. They've never played a gig. They've never played a gig? Never. Not one? Not one. Ever? Ever. Every week they're next door playing, rehearsing. I hear them through the walls. Yeah. They must be waiting for that perfect moment. They're, yeah. they're working it out to perfection. Um, How long hopefully it's now. Right, OK. <laughs> How long have they been waiting for the perfect moment? Um, a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> oh. right. Well, sometimes people can right. take almost a lifetime to make an album. So let's check them out. Leave that on, that's all part of it. <laughs> oh, that is, I, I am, you know, I, I have to be really frank with you, I'm not really a guitar man. No. But when I hear shit like that, that's just like, whoa. What was going on even with the effects and, and, and your syncopation, everything was just fucking bang on. We've all got our own space, we all play entirely in our own spaces, which is brilliant. We're not trying to make the sound, we're just doing what we do. It's just and it happens. And that's kind of the beauty happening. of us kind of turning up every so often and going, we're not at work, 
the kids are in bed, let's have a beer and just play together. When yeah. Amanda said that you'd never done a gig, you're kind of like, what, really? And you've been together for a few years? Are you kind of... Are you itching to do a gig or are you just not bothered? Gigging's fun, yeah. but it's not, it's not everything. I really like the kind of being creative in here and kind of writing and developing stuff. It's much, right. it's much nicer. We are at that point where we're saying, come on, we better go and do a gig, which is partly why we put in for this, because we needed something to focus a bit. I think this is baked, fellas, and somebody <laughs> needs to eat a piece of this pie. <laughs> 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 Man. Fella. Fella. Man. Whoa. Wowza. I, um, um, love that. I, I think I've... You haven't got one as well, have you? I think I have. <laughs> Both got bonus. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't see Ant and Deck doing that, do you? <laughs> Rod, that Go was... Go on, you uh... tell me, you tell me. The, just the little hint of kind of colour on the vocals, the harmonies done by the bass player. There's four people in that little yeah, room. That's a lot of noise. Um, so there, there's there's a lot going on. Um, very refreshing. <laughs>